He's caught a basking shark and it's on the pan. You're very welcome back <laughs> to the final part of the show where Derry Clark is on kitchen duties. Derry, what have you got for us tonight? Well, not, not basking shark. What is it? Basking shark are harmless, by the way. They wouldn't touch you. They wouldn't. I'm sure I know. more of you than you know of them. Yeah, yes. I know. Um, salmon. Uh -huh. I have in the pan here some, some uh, vegetable oil. About two minutes ago, I have a nice crispy skin, so I'm going to leave that there, mm -hmm. cooking away in vegetable oil. I have some of these summer greens, so peas, courgette, broccoli. You can use any vegetables you want. So okay. I'm keeping this light. Actually, this is a dish we cooked over the weekend at the manor. Um, one of the dishes we this did. This was the place to be, obviously. It is. The no, rest the food of us weren't living now, at all. We didn't so get an invite. We, did no. we smoked yeah. this, actually, and then finished it off. I'll show you how we finished it off. That's a really nice dish. So I have this, a bit of salt and pepper on the salmon. I skin side down, OK? Mm. Uh -huh. You can skin it if you want to. You know, get it skinned. I take the skin off. But, but it's like lovely when it's crispy, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, if you're cooking the uh, skin on a fish, make sure it's crispy. You know, you don't like that kind of... Yeah, Rubbery thing. Like, yeah, you yeah, never poach, awesome. if you're poaching fish, make sure it's skinned. OK. And this is a lovely summer dish. Salt, pepper, and now I have a pan here. I have some vegetable stock in the pan there. Simple as. And that was actually uh, one of those jelly cubes. One of the jelly cubes you can get now. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're really good. That's it there. Yes. Is that it? Yeah. I'm just going to ask you, did you make stock? Like, I mean, it's a dish, by the way, you cook at home. I'm actually, you know, you say Michelin star. It's Michelin star. Yes, That's I know. All I kind care of, about. Uh, maybe a <laughs> star chef doing it. But I'm doing things I would do at home. Yeah. Like, I haven't got a team of chefs. So I'm using bottles, sauces Simple here stuff. to make it yeah. like a dish. Yeah, up, yeah. Okay? So I have some little shallots here. Just took the, cut them in half. And can I ask you a question about the shallots? Yes. Would it, you, like, is it a big deal if you use an ordinary red onion or an onion? No. No. Not a big deal. But see, the thing about shallots, a lot of cooks Are like using... Are they Is, yeah, well, they're also softer. Not that uh, very sharp, strong taste. OK. A non non-stick frying pan, because what I want to do is make sure it doesn't stick. Uh-huh. And I'm going to keep going here for about two minutes. OK. So I have this simmering way. I'll turn the volume up here. I put them in raw. And I they're have in with the vegetable stock. That's all you've got in there so, so far, the shallots so, and a bit of stock, is it? Yeah, yeah that's okay. all it is. Simple as, OK? Right. Even you can do this, Ray. No problem Even I you. can do this. I beg your pardon. I know, I'm you sorry. You could never do that. I'm actually a pretty good chef. Not chef, cook. Home cook, like. But we're all cooks, by the way. Yeah, we're all, yeah. anyone who can cook. You, you can do beans, you're a cook, yeah. I've picked up loads of things, like, I've said it before. I've done loads of things. There's no there, there, need to be so defensive. I'm not being defensive. <laughs> Who said I was being defensive? You said I was being defensive. <laughs> No, I've learned loads of little tips and stuff. And, uh, I bet you, being here every now. day. Yeah. Keep me out of this, please. Just keep me out of this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Derry said. <laughs> Derry said you were being defensive. Yeah, blame me. So I have some um, garlic. I just slice it thinly. Some red chilli. And some ginger. I love ginger. I love ginger too. And fresh ginger. A uh, thumb size. Mm. That's the only thing about ginger. You buy it and then you never use enough and then... Like, I know it lasts, but sometimes you end up, and it, I feel really bad, but sometimes you do end up throwing it out. But it is so good for you. Here's a little tip I learned on the six o'clock show from one of our chefs in the kitchen. Go on. You, fr you use it. Yeah. You freeze it. Yes. Yeah. And then you can grate it Correct. from frozen. Yes. Into your stir fries and whatnot. Correct. It, <laughs> freezes. it actually freezes well. <laughs> Which chef was that now? It was probably you, Jerry. <laughs> I'll say it was you. I don't think I so, think, actually, though. No. I think you don't it was Quan Jay or... Uh, Maybe it was Quan Jay. Now, you see that? That's salmon. Adrian. It did, well, it was oh, yeah, Adrian. Oh, yeah, that looks gorgeous told, yeah. now. Lovely and crispy, isn't it? See that? But I see the way you're kind of tapping it with your finger all the time. Is that testing it? Just it see. Like, I mean, yeah. another two minutes. One thing, I don't like salmon overcooked. You know? Same. It gets kind of cotton wool. It does. Mm -hmm. So I have so the you're looking for, like, a bit of darker pinkness in the middle. Is it a bit like a steak, medium rare yeah. steak? Yeah, no, I made a mistake on the weekend. I did one salmon undercooked, a bit under. Okay. It was sent back to me. But I put my hands up. That can happen, you know? You're yeah, doing yeah. a lot of yeah. salmon. Um, I did apologise and put my hands up. Because sometimes you're cooking, you do make mistakes, you know? Okay. Oh, so is that the kind of thing you're doing at the manor as well, then? You're doing salmon as well. You mentioned pork and steak and Smoked that kind of thing. meats and things. Were you smoking salmon, are you, or are you? Yes. We do a hot smoke fillet. That, that's, that's the actual fillet that you're using and uh, in the smoker for about 20 minutes, comes out, and then we make this, then we finish it off like this, OK? OK. So time's against me now, I think. Three minutes, Derry. Oh, good. Hold the time. That's a sweet chilli, is it? Sweet chilli sauce. OK. OK. What's that? Is that golden syrup? No, treacle. Not, not made by me, OK? Soy. 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 I'll tell you what you're putting in, Derry, will I? <laughs> <laughs> a good lash of that. A little honey. Mm. Got a load of lovely flavour in there now. Exactly. And this, I want to just almost finish it off. Some peas here. I'm just wondering how all this marries together. The it does, really. But it's summer greens, you know. It's, yeah. it's a no-brainer. And a little bit of butter. 
Just to kind of, it makes a kind of a sauce out of us. You see this now? In we go here. So do you want to reduce down the vegetable stock then a bit or what? Yeah, well, you could, not too much. You know, I, mean, yeah. I want to kind of a very light, because it's a summer dish. I don't want to make heavy, heavy kind of sauce flavor, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then to give it a real fresh kick at the end. I love fresh lime, you know? Beautiful, just over that. And I suppose you could start, you don't necessarily have to do the, um, like what you've done with the salmon. You could do that as part of any dish, really, couldn't you? You could do chicken yeah. would be great with this summertime, yeah? Oh, yeah. Um, now, like I said, I'll, I batch all this veg beforehand. But you could cook it in the in the in the um, in the juice. In the juice. Given more time, yeah. Yeah. And just a little bit. I was doing one portion. Wouldn't a few new potatoes be lovely with that now as well? Spectacular. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm saying. Instead, instead of the broccoli, because I, it's I'm, a real I'm healthy I'm dish. And there's nice dish. But I'm still very fussy. He's very fussy, so he is. Uh, come here. Uh, we're looking for your WhatsApps and your uh, texts, and I'm after losing the flipping hang on. Please, please hold. Uh, if you want to find out the recipes, do a search for, go on YouTube, do a search for VMTV and you can find out Derry's recipe up and on there. Tracy from Kildare, great to see Robert on the show this evening and even better seeing that the live music scene is slowly getting back to normal. This is Robert Rizal who was on a few minutes ago. Uh, he's doing At The Manor, as is Derry Clark uh, and you'll be able to check them out uh, there. Elaine from Louth, I used to be hooked on The Sopranos, would love to have seen Tony Soprano running the office. Yeah, I don't know, we were talking about that uh, earlier on about uh, him potentially um, yeah. being in the office. Uh, I don't know if it would have worked. And Brian from Sligo, one of my last gigs before COVID was seeing Robert live. Hope to see him again soon. Yes, of course. And you will be able to catch him and Derry Clark at, uh, at the Manor, Palmerstown House Estate uh, in Kildare. And I got that right, didn't I? But you did. Well I said. Did. Very good. And it's all plated up and good to go. So you got that kind of glaze Yum. on the salmon. That'll so be what's green. that it's called? Give it its long at. title now. It's long title. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Sally <laughs> Ann's apartment. Yeah, yeah. It is. Uh, so, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Soy and honey glazed salmon mm. with summer greens. Yeah. How simple is that? Looks Yum. absolutely Yum. gorgeous. Simple to do. It really does look gorgeous. It does. It smells amazing too. Uh, Jerry, thanks a million. Thank you, Gwanda. Great thank to meet you. Thank you very much. He'll throw on a few spuds for us the next time he's yeah, on a few exactly. spuds for us as well. So and keep an eye out for him if you're going, to, <laughs> if you're going up to uh, Kildare for the festival. That's all for tonight, but a massive thank you to all of our guests and, of course, to Derry for the lovely grub as well. Indeed. I'll be back tomorrow with Martin, where we'll be chatting with broadcaster Brenda Donoghue and author Seamus O'Reilly. Good luck for now. Stay safe. See you tomorrow.